welcome to the second part of the Sega Genesis Mini review slash unboxing slash playthrough. This is already the second part if you haven't tuned in and checked out our first video where we unbox the Sega Genesis Mini. We take a look at the console, the feel of the controllers and cosmetically we judge it and so far it's looking very good. Now we're gonna take a look at the insights of it. What does it entail as far as the way the games play and other aspects, um, I don't know, features and uh, special things that I don't know what it comes with. So let's take a look at it. The very first thing when I power this up, pretty simple, you just pick the language of your choice and then, oh, of course it decides to go into a screensaver. So, first thing I when I chose the language and of course as you can hear just by scrolling around the menu of games the very first thing that I'm like oh hell yes those are streets of rage sounds by clicking on anything I haven't clicked on any game but uh, as you as many of you know streets of rage series are my favorite of the Sega Genesis so I'm gonna take a look at just briefly maybe we're gonna start with some of the obvious the Sonic the Hedgehog even though I don't care about how that looks I want to take a look at some of the other ones like um, Ghost and Goals I want to definitely want to take a look at uh, uh, Eternal Champions which is one of my personal favorite it probably sucks as to some of you if you, you guys don't give a shit about that but it's one of my personal favorites. I'm not gonna take a look at the more obvious ones like Castlevania, or I, I probably may, because uh, like I said on the previous video of the unboxing, um, my Sega Genesis, as it is with, um, it doesn't really adapt to the HD TVs, so it looks like shit for some reason. And I reiterate, for some reason also on the same token, my Super Nintendo and my Nintendo, my original Nintendos, with the original AV cables or even RF cables they look amazing on the HDTVs without the need of any modification to the consoles or anything just as is but for some reason the Sega Genesis and everything after that looks like shit so I'm very happy and um, well of course I want to take a look at uh, Mega Man we're gonna take a look at uh, let, let's just see how Sonic the Hedgehog plays where is it? okay here we go Game start, I think uh, during the gameplay, hold start to save, love, return to main menu, okay? Sounds like a deal. Let's get this started. Just, just choose A. For some reason, my capturing card stops recording. So, okay, I, actually, I don't like the background. Let me see if I can go back. Uh, I know that that's kind of a neat feature that it has the background, the... Uh, the wallpaper on the background oh, it's just a demo okay great so we're gonna take a look of course at the obvious one Sonic the Hedgehog let's get this game started I had to play with some of the settings because I didn't want the wallpaper on the back all my devices everything's working fine over here my capturing devices looking good okay Okay, so it looks good, it looks clean so far, that's not me, that's the demo. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go back to the, just have it a regular 4x, return to main menu. I'm just gonna go back and uh, shrink it down to that, it looks kind of stretchy, but let's just go to the settings real quick, settings, screen settings, let's just shrink it and have it as it was originally meant to be. Okay, let's look at it. Oh, okay, I think that's what it was. It looks much, much better right now. Okay, I like the feel so far of the controller without even doing anything, just pretty much the same size as the original controllers. There he is, just like he is on my t-shirt right there. He's, come on, I'm waiting. Move your ass, I don't have all your time. Lazy ass. 
Carnitas goes out to work and you're just there, chilling on the couch, playing video games. Come on! Do something, dude! Okay, let's get this started! Not bad, not bad. It, it, it feels organically. It, look, it feels nice. I, I'm not noticing yet any uh, sound lag or uh, video lag. Although I, I'm not too picky, like I said, I'm not too picky when it comes to the frame rates and stuff like that. When, it when the frame rate drops by a few frames, or even a, a couple frames, I'm sorry. I don't notice it. I'm not too picky about that. I don't care. Uh, I think that's more. Well, let's see. What about when I start going fast? Uh, actually, you know what? A little bit. It, it, it's not so noticeable. Uh, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, I, I can still play through. It, it's not bad. Oh, we already got through the first stage. So, so far, it, it looks good. I just want to have first impressions on how the game looks. Um, everything is looking good over here. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, oh okay. Here's probably where we can notice some of the lagging. If there's any, as some uh, reviews have stated in the past. Here we go. I, I, I'm not really trying to accomplish anything 100%. I'm just want to have a feel for it. I know this stage in particular used to be a pain in the ass trying to bounce, 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 bounce. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay, so I gotta continue. That's what that little sound was in case you guys don't remember. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm not trying to accomplish anything, but I'm trying to somewhat accomplish something. Uh, again, I'm just smashing the hell out of the button to see if it's responsive. So far it is. I'm just gonna do uh, probably one more stage and I definitely want to switch to Eternal Champions. It's like I said, it's one of my personal favorites. It may not be to you, but I think uh, if I recall it right, I owned Eternal Champions before owning Street Fighter, the the, the Champion Edition. So I, I, I think that was kind of my Street Fighter, my poor man's Street Fighter fighter version, and I, I was okay with it. And it became one of my personal favorite because. For, for once right now, it's nostalgia at this point, and uh, of course, it, it, it brings back really fun memories of, uh, you know, back in the 90s, year. Oh, and of course, I died, but I don't care. <laughs> so let's just switch the game, uh, just like with the other mini consoles, you press reset and then it'll give you the option to save, load, or just go back, because I don't want to save it at this time. I do not care. I'm just gonna return to the main menu. All unsaved progress will be lost. That's fine. Thank you very much for notifying me of the stupidity I'm about to do, but of course it's not. Um, you know what? No, screw it. I, I want to check out Mega Man The Wily Wars. Because uh, in case you didn't know, this game never released here in North America. It was just a release, European release. And the only way for you to get it, uh, you already know at this point that uh, it, it was just the only way of getting this game was through getting it through a repro reproduction cartridge. So I, I don't care. I hope it lets me. Oh, so I want to take a look at uh, definitely Mega Man 2, Mega Man uh, <coughs> 1. Oh, oh, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3. Okay, so I think it's just pretty much the same thing. Yes, I wanna. I wanna do. You know what? I'm gonna do Mega Man 3. Because I wanna start with uh, uh, Snake Man's uh, stage. I think it has a pretty cool tune. And um, for, for what I know of this game, it's pretty much the same versions except for to upscale to a 16 bit version. Maybe I, I can already tell the backgrounds. Okay, I don't know if this is the game itself, not not so much the emulation on the on the mini, but it, it feels slow. Oh, I don't have the charge button here yet. The jumping feels like he he waits a lot. I know he's a robot, but 
it, it didn't, I don't remember feeling it like this on the previous games. It, it, feel, it feels heavy. And uh, again, no, I don't know if it's just what it is with the emulation of the game, uh, or if it's just the game itself, like w when they did it on the 16th ver version. That they said this is how it is, but it looks good. The music, of course, it kicks ass. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit because I like the tune. So forgive me, the music comes across as ah, oh crap. Yes, I know I'm sucking, but but uh, like I said, I'm not trying to accomplish anything. I'm not gonna do full walkthroughs. This is the way I do the snake. I switch my hand position and the controller like this, so I can. Okay, this is definitely yeah. I, I think it shoots. The pebbles, the bullets, a bit faster on the NES. But again, I don't know. I, I like to hear if this is just the emulation here on the Sega Genesis, or or if it's the actual game that turned out to be like this. It looks really good, though. The music looks good, of course. 16-bit redemption. God damn it, I know that these guys, once they come and vault over you, you just like stand still, I think. That was the technique to try to go past them. And with this guy, of course, you just shoot him at when he opens his eyeball, his helmet eyeball. Okay, come on, come on, come on. See, this is the reason why I don't want to do a long playthrough. Oh, of course. Is it recording? Oh, it is recording. Whew! I was about to throw a fit. Because I just got my second game capture card in less than a month. The one I did, the one we did the first time playing Mario Brothers, that one gave out on me completely. The stupid uh, USB connection port thingy just like was shit. And I bought it off from uh, Marketplace uh, or off from online. Oh well. Uh, by the time I realized it was a faulty capture card, it was just too late for me to try to even make a claim because I bought it a long time ago and um, I recently just like used it for the last video. If you haven't checked that out, it's really fun. You will see uh, Chaoi playing Super Mario Brothers 1, the original. We played it on the NES Mini. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit congested, so I, I feel the the boogers, the the <laughs> the mocos on my nose. So apologies for that. Uh, uh, okay, so I guess I'm gonna switch games. I think it, it looks really good. And uh, oh, here's another snake. Time to switch hand positions. I, I just it feels it feels weird. Are we going to Snake Man now? Oh wait, no, I think you slide underneath it. Oh, that's what it is. But And I still get hit, of course. Sucker. Mega Man looks really cute, looks really awesome. Oh, of course, I still get hit. Okay. Man, I almost missed the ladder. ladder. I was about to jump into my doom. I just want to get to Snake Man and see how the the boss or not. <laughs> okay, let's switch games. You know, I like the the version they did of a Snake Man tune on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I I love that bass, that clear bass slapping riff. I I, I love it. Yes! So let's go ahead and switch uh, game. No, I do not want to save it. I, I, I love the, the sounds on the menu, the scrolling through the loading screens, the pause menu, Streets of Rage uh, sounds. I love that. Love that. Ooh. 
we're gonna take a look at what was the one I said, Eternal Champions. Where is that sucker at? Excuse me. Uh, I don't know if you guys are those kind of people that get grossed up just by someone like barfing it up here on camera or something, but I, I hope you're not <laughs> because I'm sure you're gonna give me just a thumbs down for that and I, I welcome those too. <laughs> I don't care. Let's do Eternal Champions, why not? And uh, I remember uh, one of my favorite characters to play with was Xavier, if that's his name, the wizard, of course, he has the wand, blue or purple, uh, it's like freaking uh, Luke Cage right there. <laughs> Uh, the wizard with the purple bluish uh, robe uh, I think that's his name I don't remember well let's go into options <laughs> fight enter contest yes let's do the Xavier where is he at there he is versus slash uh, what I like the about this game I remember the freaking fatalities or the Finishing moves, okay, so... Oh, okay, so same thing, you just press start to to switch in between kicks and punches, although that's like... I, I found it unpractical <laughs> when you play with a three button. I cannot even pull the moves. It, it sucks, it, it really sucks when, when you're trying to pull the moves. It sucks, I already got my ass handed to me. You know, it, it looks funny though. It, it, it looks... Like they just smeared and cleaned up the, the pixels, the the graphics. I, I, I don't know, it, it looks weird. It sounds good though. You know, the background is like flickering a little bit. this monkey's ass. I know it's more of a beast, a saber tooth or I don't know what, a caveman, mutant caveman, but I'm just smashing buttons because I don't remember the moves and <laughs> it, this one it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look great though. And I don't remember looking, this game looking this crappy, it's not crappy, it's just God damn it, I, I can't pull a single move! <laughs> ah! Okay, and the time's up, and I got my ass. Oh, I got him, and he's like throwing up and shit over there. I, I don't know, I, I, I'm questioning the, 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 the way this looks. It, it looks weird, it doesn't look bad. Okay, oh, you know what? I'm gonna try to do the finishing move on this sucker. Oh, that's if I don't get my ass handed to me. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I meant to throw him the other way. Oh, I won? Oh, you know what? I think it was the stage. This one actually looks l looks good. Although I getting my ass handed to me. You know what? I think it was the other stage. This one actually looks really good, except for the characters. They still look like a little... Like they just throw in pixels together. It, it doesn't look bad again, but... I could be picky with certain aspects, with certain technical aspects of these consoles, these, and I get my ass handed to me. It, it looks, it, it sounds good, it sounds good, not bad. I think this was one of my chicks too, uh, that I used to play a lot too. I think, uh, uh, what's, uh, what's the other guy's name, I don't remember, but uh, the Dick Tracy guy with the long robe and uh, so Shadow, Xavier and the Dick Tracy guy were some of my top picks to, to play on this game. <laughs> God 
damn it! <laughs> I'm just smashing buttons to be honest, okay? I'm not trying I'm trying to pull moves but just switching in between the, the punches and the kicks. It's it's throwing me off a little bit. And there I am now. So okay, and I can't pause it. I'm trying to pause it to go to the menu, but I guess I, I won't be able to do that. Let's go ahead and check out the next game. So next, oh, I said I wanted to check out a Castlevania too. Want to see how that looks? Obviously, one of uh, top classics, top favorite ones to a lot of people. Not just my personal favorite, but uh, this was kind of the kind of the rival to the Castlevania Four that came out on the Super Nintendo. But uh, I, I own both of them, and. Uh, but I haven't played it in a long time. Oh, that looks good. It sounds good too. So I think it's gonna vary from game to game. Uh, let's just start, let's just have a feel for it. Of course, we wanna play with John Morris because he has the whip. And whip pick it! Okay, let's whip the hell out of some uh, monstrous creatures. I don't care about the story, I think, yeah, I just want to get to the game. Let me play. Also, if you guys haven't checked out the Netflix Castlevania series, I highly recommend them. They, they can get kind of slow on the dialogue parts, but overall they're really, really, really good. The animation and overall the story, it's actually good. They they ended up pulling it off. They and uh, I'm looking forward for the third uh, season of it. Although they're short seasons, they're only like I think eight or six episodes. They're really well done. And uh, the, like I said, the animation it's just spectacular. And uh, and this game also looks spectacular. It looks really good too. Okay, so to throw the special weapon, is it C? Oh, yes. Remember that uh, on, uh, on the um, on the NES, you, because we didn't have any more buttons than the A and B, you had to press up and the attack button. So, so far, the, the feel of the controllers on the games that I've already played, it feels nice. I, I haven't really noticed much lagging, except for that one little part on Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, and trust me, I, I'm, I'm not really good at noticing those. I, I don't get really peaky with it, but it feels good. I, I like it. I, I like it. I, I'm digging it so far. I will definitely come back and check out maybe the rest of the games, the ones that I'm not really familiar with. And just, ah, oh, of course, ah, oh, of course, they're gonna start pulling that shit on me where they gang up on you and shit. God. You know what? Screw it, dude. I'm gonna run for the heels. Or for the ladder in this case. <laughs> it looks really good. I, I I like it. You know, this this is definitely something that I was looking forward on for owning a Sega Genesis Mini. Just the cleanup, the upscaling, if you wanna say, uh, of the uh, there it is of the of the graphics and totally digging it. Maybe, I know I'm gonna contradict myself that I'm not a fan of emulation, but maybe I may consider getting this hacked or modded to have uh, more games, even though I already have tons of emulated Sega Genesis games, so I probably, I don't know, I said, like I said, I may consider it, oh shit, oh god damn, this is, looks like the dog I used to own when I when I didn't feed him for like for, for, for weeks. This is what the dog used to like, and of course he died. God damn it! Not just kidding. I, I, I did feed my dog, but he, he did die. The, 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 that part is true. That other part. <laughs> but I, I'm not good at owning pets. <laughs> okay, I, I, I kill my dog. Just like I killed them in real life. No, just kidding. I did not kill the dogs. I don't want freaking. Peter coming after me and shit. I don't kill animals, <laughs> by the way. 
I mean, well, I, I did when, uh, <laughs> I mean, who, who hasn't killed a bug or anything, you know, when you're dicking around with your friends and squishing bugs and roly polies and shit, and who didn't do that well as a kid? So I'm gonna switch game because I, I like this. I'm gonna definitely come back and try to finish it. And I don't think I've ever finished these, and not even on my real Genesis, because it's a, it's a hard game. It gets really hard as you progress through the other levels uh, but uh, it looks good uh, maybe I'll do a full playthrough of it and see how far I can get because I suck at these games seriously I uh, uh, god damn it god damn it. you see <laughs> and I know I'm just trying to rush through the level and I'm not paying attention but uh, you know what it looks good it, it looks good I'm just gonna kill these skull heads there we go. Looking good with the classic organ, Castlevania organ. Love it. Okay, next game. Let's go back down to. Oh, I do want to check out Ultra Beast. Ah, so many good games, not enough time. Uh, you know, I may do a second review, just kind of a follow-up and just browse through the other games. This looks really good. It's just great selection. Just Sega outdid themselves. So kudos out to them. Great job on putting this together. The features, the, the, the feel of it, everything looks good. To be honest, oh boy. Ah. Just classic 16, 16 bit graphics. Love it, love it, love it, love it. When I first played these, it reminded me a lot. I, I thought I was playing kind of a, a metal slot because the sounds, the feel of it, 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 it just feels great. I know, again, I'm not trying, okay? So I know I'm getting my ass in it to me, but god damn it. it, it God, it, this is good! This is good stuff! This is good stuff! <laughs> yeah, but you go to hell. You go to hell. You gotta shit. You gotta shit, you too. You gotta shit. Get the hell out of here, yes. Get the hell out of here. I don't wanna fight you. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> it's good! It's good! You guys have... If you guys miss these games, uh, I mean, who doesn't miss uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Ultra Beast... Oh, shit! Oh, uh, sorry, I, I really can talk and articulate as I try to do my best... Not, not doing my best, but just trying to get through. Okay, am I stuck? Okay, oh, sorry, sorry, I, I forgot, see, I, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> this is good, this is good. Oh, I, I don't know if I finished my thought, my comment on saying that if you were to really try to get these games, the, the actual games, the physical games of all of these, you would spend probably nothing over a couple hundred games. Because just the Sega Genesis alone, it will cost you roughly around $40. Uh, like I said on the part one of this video, uh, Alicia Dragoon will cost you on the roughly $40, $50 range. And other, there are a couple other games that are easily up there on the $40, $50 range. So just on the few games that I, that, that I particularly looking forward to play, they're not cheap. And uh, so this is a good payoff. This is just an $80. Uh, mini console and uh, I'm loving it I'm loving it and I'm I, I don't love McDonald's but sorry I, I gotta say I'm loving it <laughs> I'm, I'm about to die I'm about to die yeah you know what just kick my ass guys there you go just kick my ass come on just die This looks good. 
Next game. What are we playing next? Uh, let's just do Alter Beast. Let's do. We, we got him. Power up! Remember that? As a kid, this game was almost like mortifying. Like, oh damn, this, this is creepy. Wait. Oh, this is demo. Come on, let's push start. Rolls from your Rolls. <laughs> and then you have to hit the piggies or the the freaking uh, the lions or whatever. Oh, and then check this out. Hey, yeah. How about that? Let's kick him in the ass and get an orb. And then let's do power up. See, that's like literally an ass kicking. Like when you kick the pigs on the ass. God damn it! Son of a hit him the balls. Come on, fool. Come at me. Let's kick him in the ass again. Oh, damn. Yeah, Arnold power up. Here we go now. Although they scream like wimps. What the hell, dude? Ah, 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 ah. And then he bumps up the, the tune. What the hell did you just say, dude? Don't you be talking about my mama like that? Disrespectful mother effer. Ah. I like this stage where you turn into an eagle, I think. And, and the one that you ah oh! ah! This game is so much fun with uh, a lot of fun with uh, playing with the uh, second player. It's really fun. I remember going to the arcade and spending the whole tons of quarters on this game. God damn it! And I'm dead on the first level of Altered Beast. I think this will do for now. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I highly recommend it if you want to go back to your 90s nostalgia and try to pick up these games. Well, I, I think it's a great deal. $80 for $42. The specs look good. The sound, it's great. And we already talked about the controllers themselves, the little mini console. It's all great. I, I'm going to say uh, I almost a perfect 10 out of 10 because uh, I know I've seen some reviews that are like 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 but uh, me personally uh, I'm not so picky about some of frame rate issues that other people have seen I I'm pleased, I I'm actually pleased with the selection, the variety of games lots of great ones and this will conclude another chilling couch for the Sega Genesis Mini review slash playthrough slash unboxing. Although I think that was supposed to be the other way around because we unboxed it first. But thank you very much for tuning in. Until next time, uh, feel free to suggest what games you would like us to play. Either Carnitas or recommend one for Chawewi. It doesn't matter the genre. Well, kind of, sorry. Uh, I don't own a PC, a gaming PC, so yes, that that type of gaming I'm not going to be able to do. I'm also not much of an RPG gamer, but I do own RPG games, so feel free to shoot a message to, to our, either one of our social media sites, and we'll be more than happy to come back and play more stupid games, awesome games, classic games and just idiotic hard to beat games. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you liked this segment of Sega Genesis Mini unboxing, packing, playthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm packing, yeah. <laughs> and you hope you all have a great, great forthcoming week. Until next time, and it rhymes for the ingeniuses. Take care.